Hi, welcome to our midweek update. I hope you're having a wonderful week. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful morning. It's a little damp. We actually could use a little more of this rain. So even though I know we want sunshine, this is actually kind of good news. But I hope you're having a good week. Here's what's going on this week at church. And uh, there are a couple things for you to be aware of. Saturday morning, this is men's breakfast week. So calling all men, we're going to meet at 7.30, our normal time, and looking forward to meeting with you and being with you uh, this Saturday here at church. Also, this Sunday, there's a lot happening. Um, it's our last Sunday of our year-long modified schedule. We'll still have our two services at 9.45 and at 11, and, but it's our last Sunday where we'll be on this schedule starting next week. We'll, back, we'll be back to one uh, service together. It's probably a good idea or a good thing to remember that in the last week or two, even the health experts in our country, the CDC, have said if you're vaccinated, you have nothing to worry about in any way. So it's time for us to come back together as a church and be the church in a culture that desperately needs it. Let's go with confidence and boldness and reclaim uh, a neighborhood and a city and an area for Christ. That's our job, and that's our task, and we can do it together. This Sunday, we're still in the Joseph story, and we're going to talk about those times of life when God is busy at work behind the scenes. Oh, we're very quick to notice and be thankful for all those times when everything works out the way we think it should, and it's right there in front of us. But there's probably a lot more times of life when um, things aren't going like we think it should. And then in hindsight, 10 years later, 20 years later, we look back and say, wow, God was far busier than I ever gave God credit for. We're talking about that this Sunday. And it's better when you're here. So let's see everybody this Sunday. I'm looking forward to seeing you in church this week.